Existence thrives on proof, but what about those beings that dwell in the realms of the unproven, like Bigfoot? In the tapestry of our world, interwoven with facts and certainties, there are threads of enigma and ambiguity. One such thread that has captured human intrigue for decades is the mystery of Bigfoot. This elusive creature, also known as Sasquatch, has been a subject of fascination, fear, and skepticism. Bigfoot, often depicted as a towering, hairy, ape-like creature walking on two feet, has been a part of folklore and urban legends across various cultures. From the dense forests of North America to the remote mountains of the Himalayas, tales of such a creature have echoed for centuries. Yet, despite countless sightings and stories, the existence of Bigfoot remains shrouded in mystery. There are those who stand firm in their belief, their conviction fueled by personal encounters, blurry photographs, and footprints that defy conventional explanation. These believers argue that the vast wilderness of our world could easily hide such a creature. But on the other side of the spectrum, skeptics demand tangible, irrefutable proof. They point towards the lack of clear photographic evidence, the absence of a captured specimen, and the possibility of hoaxes as reasons to dismiss the Bigfoot phenomenon. Over the years, Bigfoot has evolved from being a creature of lore to a subject of serious investigation. Researchers have delved into the realm of the unproven, analyzing eyewitness accounts, scrutinizing physical evidence, and even using technology in their quest to uncover the truth. Theories have sprouted, ranging from Bigfoot being a relic population of extinct hominids to interdimensional beings. Yet, the enigma persists, keeping the curiosity alight. As we explore this intriguing narrative, we must ask ourselves, is it possible that such a creature exists, unseen and unproven, in the shadows of our known world? Or is Bigfoot merely a manifestation of our collective imagination, a symbol of our fascination with the unknown? Today, we dive into an unforgettable encounter with this elusive creature. Imagine a tranquil forest, an oasis of peace until the unknown steps in. Picture a vast expanse of towering trees, their leaves rustling gently in the breeze. The sunlight breaks through the dense foliage, casting dappled shadows on the forest floor. This is the Pacific Northwest, a region known for its lush wilderness, and it's here where our story takes root. The time is dusk, that magical hour when day gives way to night, and the forest comes alive with a symphony of sounds. The protagonist of our tale is an unsuspecting hiker, a nature enthusiast drawn to the beauty and solitude of these woods. Little did they know, their life was about to change forever. In the heart of this wilderness, far removed from the hustle and bustle of city life, our hiker was about to have an encounter that defied all logic and understanding. In this serene setting, the extraordinary was about to unfold. As the protagonist ventured into the wilderness, the ordinary was about to turn extraordinary. The first subtle signs of strangeness began to manifest. The protagonist, a seasoned explorer, was no stranger to the unpredictable whims of the wild. But the occurrences on this day were unlike anything they'd ever encountered. There was an eerie silence that hung heavy in the air, a silence so profound it was almost deafening. The usual hum of insects, the occasional rustling of leaves, even the distant calls of birds seemed to have been muted. The forest was holding its breath, waiting for something. In the midst of this uncanny tranquility, our protagonist noticed the first tangible sign. An unusual footprint, massive and unlike any beast known to inhabit these woods. It was an oddity that sparked curiosity and a twinge of unease. Yet the explorer pressed on, driven by an insatiable curiosity and the thrill of the unknown. The air seemed to grow denser as they journeyed deeper into the wilderness. The silence broken intermittently by strange, unidentifiable sounds. A low growl reverberated through the trees, a sound that seemed more like a whisper than a roar. It was a sound that seemed to echo from a different world, a world where creatures of myth and legend roamed free. A chill ran down the protagonist's spine, not born of fear, but of anticipation. There was a sense of being watched, of being scrutinized by unseen eyes. The feeling was unsettling, yet strangely exhilarating. The protagonist felt a strange kinship with the explorers of old, those who dared to venture into the unknown, driven by the promise of discovery. As the day wore on, the signs grew more prominent. The strange footprints multiplied, leading a path deeper into the heart of the forest. 
The unidentifiable sounds grew louder, closer, more urgent. The protagonist could feel the tension building, the anticipation reaching a fever pitch. But the protagonist was yet to realize the full extent of what lay ahead. And then, from the shadows, emerged the unseen. The protagonist, frozen in time, could hardly believe what was unfolding before their very eyes. There stood Bigfoot, in all its mythical glory, a being of folklore, now a reality. Bigfoot towered over the protagonist, standing at a staggering seven feet tall. Its body was covered in thick, coarse hair that was as dark as the night sky, and it bore an overwhelming yet intriguing presence. The creature's eyes, a deep, soul-searching brown, were filled with an intelligence that was both startling and captivating. Its massive hands were like worn leather, yet they moved with a gentle grace that belied their size. The protagonist's heart pounded in their chest, a cacophony of fear and fascination. They felt a strange mix of terror and awe, their mind racing with a thousand questions. Was this creature dangerous? How did it come to be here? Yet, amidst the flurry of thoughts, a sense of calm washed over them. They were witnessing something extraordinary, something that defied logic and reason. Bigfoot's actions were as puzzling as its appearance. It moved with a surprising agility, its strides long and purposeful. It seemed to navigate the dense forest with an ease that suggested familiarity, a deep-rooted connection with nature. The creature glanced at the protagonist, a look that was neither threatening nor fearful. It was a gaze that held an understanding, a silent acknowledgement of shared existence. Then, as if realizing it was no longer alone, Bigfoot turned to retreat. With a final lingering look, it disappeared, melting back into the shadows from whence it came. Its presence, however, lingered, its image etched into the protagonist's mind. The forest fell into a hushed silence, the echoes of Bigfoot's departure fading into the distance. As quickly as the encounter had begun, it ended, leaving the protagonist in a state of awe and disbelief. This face-to-face -face encounter with the unseen was a moment that would stay with them forever a testament to the mysteries that our world continues to hold. In the aftermath of such an encounter, reality seems distorted. Our protagonist, once a skeptical observer, now finds herself questioning the very fabric of her understanding. There's a peculiar lingering sensation, a strange blend of fear and fascination that tugs at her curiosity. She feels compelled to validate her experience, to seek tangible proof of the extraordinary encounter. She starts by retracing her steps, venturing back into the wild, a camera in one hand, determination in the other. From the footprints in the soft earth to the broken tree branches, she meticulously documents every clue. She takes casts of the footprints, preserving the imprint of the unseen. The world around her becomes a canvas, each detail a potential piece of the puzzle. Her tale, when shared, is met with a spectrum of reactions. Some dismiss it as a figment of an overactive imagination. Others listen with rapt attention, their eyes wide with intrigue. A few even share their own tales of encounters with the unknown, creating a sense of camaraderie among the believers. This encounter, though brief, profoundly changes our protagonist's life. She finds herself drawn towards the realm of the unknown, the unexplained. She starts delving deeper into the lore of Bigfoot, reading every book, attending every conference. She becomes a part of the community, a voice in the chorus that seeks to unravel the mysteries of the unseen. Her life takes on a new trajectory, one that's intertwined with the quest for the truth. She's now more than a bystander. She's a participant in the grand narrative, a seeker in the world of the enigmatic. She becomes an advocate for the unseen, a storyteller of the unexplained, her life forever marked by her unforgettable encounter. As time passes, the details of the encounter may fade, but the impact remains. The experience has transformed her perspective, broadened her horizons, and deepened her understanding of the world's mysteries. She carries with her a sense of wonder, a readiness to question, and the courage to seek answers. The encounter was over, but its memory would last a lifetime. Our protagonist's encounter with Bigfoot adds yet another layer to this enigma. The experience, both harrowing and awe-inspiring, provides a fresh perspective on the enduring mystery of Bigfoot. Their tale, marked by fear and fascination, adds to the myriad of personal stories that fuel the ongoing debate about this elusive creature's existence. In the grand tapestry of Bigfoot lore, this encounter stands out. 
it's not just another sighting, it's an intimate interaction with the unseen, a profound moment that has left an indelible mark on our protagonist's life. This personal experience challenges the skeptics and demands a closer look into the phenomenon that is Bigfoot. It's pivotal encounters like these that keep the debate alive, that push us to question, to explore, and to seek the truth. Each story, each encounter, each piece of evidence, however small, brings us one step closer to understanding. As we continue our quest for understanding, remember, the proof is out there in the unforgettable encounters like this one.